11, a crane catastrophe leaving one person dead in downtown Fort Lauderdale. A heavy piece fell from a construction site, crushing cars on a bridge below. It hit the front of my car. It, it was like slow motion. And then I just saw the front of my car just disappear. It just like sliced it. A driver recalling the split second decision that he says saved his life. The crane crash killed a construction worker and left a gaping hole in the road. Tonight, the bridge remains closed. We have live team coverage. Local 10 Samir Nefsi is standing by with the safety concerns from residents. But we begin with Christian De La Rosa and the investigation. Christian. By all indications, this appears to just have been a freak accident that, of course, left that construction worker dead. But so many other people feeling grateful to be alive tonight. It's the middle of rush hour on Fort Lauderdale's 3rd Avenue Bridge. I've got a crane that collapsed on top of the bridge. People heard wailing in horror. He went down, man. I don't know where the body is. The man who was in this Tesla seen helping a woman who is hurt. All my airbags went off and I just looked at myself. I couldn't believe that I was still alive. Mark Sarazin says somehow he saw the part of the crane coming down. I felt above my head peripherally something was coming. I have a Tesla. It's all glass on top. After it hit my car, bounced in the air and then land on the car next to me. That big blue piece of metal literally launched back off of the bridge in the air flew to the side and landed on the car next to me. Had I not slammed as hard as I had with my foot, I'm not here speaking to you. Authorities say staff in the building under construction east of the bridge were working on the crane. Uh, it was not the crane per se that actually failed. It was a platform that they had equipment staged on that had failed at the time of the incident. And those items fell from uh, up on the building down onto the bridge below. Officials say a worker who was in the blue structure died. Unfortunately, one of the workers uh, was uh, had fallen with the, the load off of the side of the building. One person was transported to the hospital in stable condition. Two others suffered only minor injuries. No one on the ground uh, su suffered substantial injuries other than the individual that was working. Uh, it, is unbelievable. I mean, that could have been me. I'm just happy to go home to my wife. I'm happy to go home to my family and to my friends. Repairs are already underway on that hole that was created on the bridge upon impact of that blue structure. Police have yet to identify that construction worker. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Just awful what happened, Christian, thank you. Our team coverage turns now to Local 10 Samir Nessie and the closure of the bridge. Samir, it appears the crews have been working to remove debris, is that correct? Yeah, so as you can see just behind me, Louie, we have several crew members actually on the Southeast Third Avenue bridge right now. Uh, it appears they were moving some type of debris. We've also noticed several vehicles maneuvering through there, of course, vehicles belonging to these crews. We know. OSHA and the Florida Department of Transportation all expected to have investigators out here on scene. Into the night, crews were moving a section of the crane that fell onto the Southeast 3rd Avenue Bridge. It was unimaginable. From Kerry McCormick's waterfront condo, a bird's eye view of the terrifying aftermath. Part of a high rise crane on top of the Southeast 3rd Avenue Bridge dust covering the vehicles frozen in time. A portion of the still standing crane hanging above. You live right next to, right it. Next to it. Fears, concerns right now? I'm a little concerned about the, the crane part that's hanging over there. I keep checking it. It's scary that it would happen. So somebody made a mistake. Concerns now mounting as federal and state investigators arrive to the fatal scene. Preliminary information points to a failure while crews were performing a technique called stepping the crane. The building goes up. They have to add sections to the crane. They do that by sliding the new pieces in. It was then a section of the crane came barreling down, crashing into vehicles, creating this hole. Here you can see crews surveying the damage. Such time as the structural integrity of the bridge can be determined, uh, this roadway will be closed. While engineers determine the future of the bridge, the new river now shut down to marine traffic. One boat captain reacting to the shutdown. It's an unfortunate inconvenience. There's not really anything uh, 
commercial or money making on this river. It's all pleasure. Meanwhile, Fort Lauderdale's top brass reassuring residents. In general, you can see how much construction is going on in our city alone. It's very safe. All right, so that investigation very much moving along. We know OSHA will take the lead in regards to the workplace issue or mishap that occurred. Fort Lauderdale police will be looking into the death investigation, but a concern a lot of people have, of course, that bridge will remain closed. No timeline specified as to when they'll reopen. Of course, crews investigating uh, the structural integrity, so you can expect delays, and that's something a lot of residents out here are very much concerned about. Also to be noted, New River Drive is also shut down. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News.